Did you like this video? I bet you did. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, hit that like button, and don't forget to share. Oh, look at the cute little helicopter. Just shooting his flares off. Who's that cute little helicopter? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Aww. What's up, Model Maniacs? I'm back. It's been a minute. Today I'm here with the final installment of the AH-1Z Viper by Academy Models. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the decals and the weathering of this helicopter, and then we're going to call it finished. I'm not going to show you all the fiddly bits. There's a lot of really tiny decals that you have no business watching me apply to this thing. It's boring. So let's speed through it and get to the interesting stuff. First things first, gonna take some testers decal set, lay it down on the surface, and then put the decal over the top of it, moving everything into place with the Excel tweezers that I have in my hand and also my finger. Here I'm putting a little decal softener down so they can form a little bit better to the surface of the Sidewinder. Undeniably, the most insanely frustrating thing about this kit was applying the nine-piece shark mouth decal. I hated every second of it, and because of it, I'm not going to show you the entire process because it was such a pain in the ass. Take a close look. You notice something weird? Yeah, I had to paint the bottom part of the shark mouth because the decal wasn't included in the kit and I don't know why. Those stub wings looking real good. Whew. Now that all of the decals are down, we can focus on weathering. But before we do, I need to lock in everything that I did. Three days of work with another coat of Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish just to prevent screw ups.
now that we have all of that out of the way, we can focus on weathering. I'm going to take some Tamiya black panel liner and just start going over all of the recesses on this model. And it's going to take a minute because there are so many of them. Now that I've spent the better part of my life panelining this model, I have to clean it up. So I'm just going to take a wide bristled brush with some odorless enamel thinner and go over the lines, make them look sharp and let them pop out properly. Here I'm adding a little bit of, to me, a light gray panel liner to this rotor assembly up top because I just wanted to have a little bit of contrast. It's too black and there's um, not enough variation in the tone, so a little bit of this light gray panel liner will help break it up. Time to use some Windsor & Newton oils to add some realistic grime and dirt effects in areas that I think it would be likely to accumulate. Blacks, browns, and greens do a good job of this blended in with a stiff bristled oil brush. Here I'm using a little bit of I'm Taelang 502 field gray and some chromium of oxide just to break up this base coat a little bit. It is too gray in my opinion. I'm gonna try to give it some like I guess sea blasted type of fading so like it's been hit with salt air or something like that. Give it like a nice just off gray color.
little bit of a dot filter, some white paint. I'm gonna break up this gray even more, but I don't wanna rely too heavily on the green and gray blend that I used in the other parts of this model. I have to vary the color a little bit, otherwise it's just gonna start looking uniform. Well, here we are, the final culmination of weeks of work, hours a day of just toiling on this model. This is the final product, and I am astounded by how nice this turned out. Aside from a couple of little tiny issues that I found, mostly related to the decals and some missing things that I would have liked to see in the kit, this came out really nice, and I am glad that I bought it when I did. And I'm glad that I turned this into a video series rather than just a straight build through so I could take my time on it. And I did. I just want to thank everyone that has watched this series. I really put a lot of work into it. And I picked up a lot of new subscribers along the way. And to those who did recently join me, stick around and you'll see more stuff exactly like this. And to my supporters that have been with me so far on youtube and instagram thank you if you guys watch this i really do appreciate it this is the part of the video that i hate the part where i have to say goodbye however it's just goodbye for now what is this some mr rogers shit jesus i'll see all you guys next time thanks for watching and yes that is my light in the corner peeking in because i'm trying to do some artistic crap which i shouldn't have done but hey i gotta try right i'll see everyone later Stick around, hit that notify bell if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I promise you're going to see some cool stuff in the future. Take it easy, everyone. Oh, yes, get some of this pew pew. Pew 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 pew. pew. Be gone. Bye.